Rental scooters hit the streets of Knoxville tomorrow. They're a trend that we have seen crop up in cities really all across the country. Dockless scooters that you can find and rent with an app, then ride to your destination. One scooter service aimed for a soft launch earlier in the year, but ran into some first day glitches. Now the company's back, and a second scooter service is also getting in on the action as well. It comes after the city of Knoxville picked those vendors for this pilot program aiming to avoid the growing pains of scooter launches in other cities. WATE 6 under side reporter Laura Holm joining us now with our live coverage. So, Laura, what can we expect when these scooters go live tomorrow morning? Mm -hmm. Well, Kristen and Lori, it's similar to these pay spikes. To get a scooter, all you have to do is download the app, fill out some information, and from there, you're good to go. Downtown traffic tomorrow will look a little more like this. We're super excited to finally be launching in Knoxville. Zagster and Via Ride each launching 50 scooters, 100 in total, that can be rented through an app. The biggest thing you want to remind people is that it's super important that you ride in the road. Uh, that you ride with traffic, that you are following all of the traffic laws. Put your helmet on, um, scan the scooter, and you're good to ride. We're going to be out in the field uh, the rest of the week um, as we launch, um, you know, giving people some informational uh, uh, sessions. Over time, Via Ride and Zagster will each have 250 scooters in and around downtown. We'll monitor it, and if it's a positive visitor experience in some areas, we're going to celebrate that. If it's not in other areas, then we will adjust and we will all work as a big team to make sure it's a good experience for both visitors, the community, people that work downtown, live downtown. Since March, both companies have been doing field testing with their scooters, correcting any issues and testing geofencing. We could have put scooters out sooner. We both passed a field test that the city mandated. It's really important as we want Knoxville to have kind of a controlled approach to this opportunity so that we don't run into some of the challenges that we've seen in other communities. Now, a couple things to keep in mind for tomorrow if you plan on renting a scooter. A sco people who are riding a scooter can be fined for misusing their scooter and not following traffic laws. You are only allowed to ride your scooter in the street. You have to go in the same direction as traffic. You are not allowed to ride your scooter on the sidewalk. For now, reporting live in Knoxville, Laura Holm, WATE 6 on your side. Good information to yes. have, Laura. Thank you. By the way, everyone, both providers charge a dollar to unlock those scooters. Mm -hmm. VO Ride charges 15 cents per minute. Spin charges a dollar for 15 minutes of ride time. All right, the two services are overlapping, but they don't have identical service areas. Centered on downtown, this is the spin map. Let's take a look. You can see it stretching over to campus and then east along Magnolia Avenue. The red patches are no go zones around the interstates, Market Square, the Henley Bridge. Cumberland Avenue and patches of campus. VO Rides map includes essentially the same no go zones, but a slightly different footprint on the northern edge of the service area. Another reminder, by the way, from the city, these scooters are to be parked upright and out of the way of pedestrians or vehicles. The city suggests placing them next to a bike rack. I know that's become an issue in other mm -hmm. cities, just leaving them where they are. Uh, we have posted more information, by the way, on the scooter pilot program at WATE.com. Just look under the As Seen on WATE.